Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Jason and thanks for watching. Today I have this brand new product. This is the Set Power RV45 Dual 12 volt compressor fridge. Now the Dual stands for having two compartments, one being a fridge and one being a freezer, and you can set the temperature individually for each zone. So Set Power is supposed to be a budget line of fridges. Well, the build quality and the features on this fridge completely blew me away. I opened it up and I was like, wow, this has the same features, um, everything that uh, the more expensive fridges do, yet the price is really, really good. So if you guys wanna learn more about this fridge, stay tuned. So I recently took this on a three day vacation. We took it up in the mountains into a cabin that didn't have any electricity. So I was kind of worried to see how things would go. I brought up my portable battery and my solar panels and I was able to run this fridge without any issues. And uh, the coolest part is because it has a freezer, I was able to take up ice cream uh, on this camping trip and everyone was just blown away that I had ice cream uh, there for the uh, Dutch oven uh, cobbler and cake. So what I'll do is go ahead and talk about some of the other features. Let's just dive into learning more about this Set Power RV45 Dual 12 volt compressor fridge. Now, if most of you have used an ice chest or a cooler before that requires ice, the ice melts and things get all soggy. With a 12-volt compressor fridge, inside is a compressor just like the fridge in your house, so you have the ability to set the exact temperature of what you want it to be inside and your food won't spoil. You can even set it down to freezing temps and you can have ice cream while on a road trip or camping. Now, powering the fridge is super easy. It comes with this power cord with a 12-volt socket on it. You simply plug this into your vehicle while you're on a road trip and the fridge is powered. Now, if you're gonna be camping or gonna be sitting idle for a long period of time, you don't want this fridge to run down and kill your starter battery. So I always recommend you get a portable power source like this Blue Eddy EB70. There's many options out there, but I've recommended this one recently because I've extensively tested this and it works really well with 12 volt compressor fridges. So I wanna take a look at inside the fridge. I'm very happy with this design. There's not many other fridges out here that have a removable uh, divider that allows you to be so customizable in what you want in your fridge. So this side with the divider in is the freezer. You can fit two half gallon ice cream containers on top of each other and have a little bit of room on top still. And you can fit some frozen meat, uh, bacon, things like that on this side. Now the divider does a great job. This is insulated and it keeps all the cold air over here. And then you have your fridge side. So you can put a gallon of milk on this side and then another one here and they fit really well. Pretty snug, um, no issues because it's not pushing on this too tight. And then just to give you an idea of how tall the shelf is, you can put a soda can on top and you have about another inch before the lid would have trouble shutting. Um, the water bottle is just a little too tall for that to work. What's nice is this basket is removable so you can take out all the frozen items at one time. There's also an LED light that's split between the divider so you have light shooting this way and light shooting this way. And then you have a temperature sensor for each area. So the temperature sensor is about halfway down the fridge. One's right here and then one's right here. So that's how you can tell the temperature in each zone. At the very bottom of this fridge, there's a drain plug, which is actually a special feature many fridges don't have. So what you can do is you can pull the drain plug out, rinse out the fridge with some water, and then put the drain plug back in and you're good to go. So overall, very good design. There's only one other fridge that I can think of is the Iceco Go 20 that uh, has this removable um, divider and then it becomes you know, one giant fridge or one giant freezer. You can set the temperature how you want. So very good design here. Very happy with how Set Power set this fridge up. I wanna take a second to talk about the fridge control panel. Let's go ahead and turn the fridge on. Right when it turns on, you can see the internal temperature for both sides. This is the freezer side and this is the fridge side. You can see that the fridge side is above the compressor shelf. To adjust the temperature, you just push plus and minus, and it'll display the set temperature, and then if you leave it for a couple seconds, it will lock and save at that amount. Same with the fridge side. To change it from eco mode or max mode, you push the settings button. Eco mode setting is to save power, and the max mode is for the fastest cooling possible. 
One other cool little trick is when you remove the divider, it disables one zone, so the fridge acts as one complete area. So then you have the ability to set that as you wish, and then when you put it back, it'll recognize that the divider's back in, and then you're able to adjust each zone individually. To turn the fridge off, you simply push the power button. One thing that I've found out as I've reviewed many of these fridges is the lid either makes or breaks the design of the fridge. Now, Set Power put a lot of time and effort to this, I can tell, because there's a lot of really good things about this lid design. The first thing that I love is how easy this big latch is. You can easily open it up and the latch snugs it down. Now, it's important to have a lid that snugs down because you want an airtight seal. And so, because this is so tight, you're not gonna have issues with air getting in or out of this fridge. Another great feature of this fridge is that this lid is reversible. Now, why would you want it to reverse? Well, say that you it currently opens on this side, but the, the side of the car is right here, so you can't really get to it, and it's only accessible from this side. Well, you just take the lid, and you pop it off. And then you put it back in on the other side. What's also cool about this is it seems to have a magnet here. This magnet goes past this area here and that disables the LED light inside. So it's kind of like a smart magnet um, to control the LED light. This lid also has metal hinges on the mounting surfaces and on the corners, so very durable. And uh, I'm just really impressed with this lid. I feel like if companies put a lot of design into their lid, this is the, this is the part of the fridge you're gonna be dealing with the most and it's gonna cause the most convenience or inconvenience. So that's why I cover so much time on a good quality lid design. The Set Power fridge comes with two folding handles. Uh, they are spring loaded, so they tuck away nicely. But when you go to pick it up, the weight of the fridge easily holds this handle out. And so I've liked how they fold in to save space, but they're comfortable when you use them. Plugging the fridge in is really easy. You have your 12 to 24 volt DC input here and a 15 amp fuse. All you do is just take your power adapter and plug it in. I tested this fridge over 100 hours in multiple environments. For my testing, I set the freezer side to 8 degrees and the fridge side to 28 degrees. All testing was completed using eco mode on the fridge. At 70 degrees ambient, the fridge pulled a total of 961 watt hours, over 80 hours of testing. If you divide the 961 watt hours by 80, you get an average power draw of 12 watts. That also translates to about 0.93 amp hours at 13 volts. At the 85 degree ambient testing, the fridge pulled a total of 936 watt hours, over 36 hours of testing. If you divide 936 by 36, you get an average of 26 watts. That translates to about 2.1 amp hours at 13 volts. Now both my previous tests were run at 70 degrees and 85 degrees. If you're gonna run this fridge over 95 degrees ambient, it will cause the compressor to run 100% of the time, which the power draw on eco mode would be about 41 watts and about 62 watts on max mode. The fridge compressor will shut off due to overheating if temps reach 120 degrees Fahrenheit on the compressor. It's important to keep the fridge out of direct sunlight as much as possible, and that will help avoid overheating. Now, I briefly wanna talk about the power consumption results that I get. A lot of people question, you know, why are they so low? or that doesn't make sense, the fridge uses 40 watts when it's, the compressor's running. Well, it's important to realize that the compressor doesn't run 100% of the time. At a 70 degrees ambient test, the compressor will run about one third of the time and it'll sit idle for two thirds of the time, which means you can take that 40 watts and you can divide it by three, and that's about what your power usage would be. Now, just remember, the lower the temperature outside, the less it's going to use power-wise. So if it's about 50 degrees outside, you're not gonna be running this fridge very much and it'll be able to keep it, it cool inside. Now, if you have it hotter outside, like 95 degrees or even 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you will have the compressor run almost 100% of the time and then you'll hit that cap of 41 watts on eco mode. If the fridge can't keep up, you might wanna set it to max mode so that it pulls 62 watts, but at least it keeps the contents inside the fridge cool. One thing I'm gonna recommend that anybody has when they own a 12-volt compressor fridge is one of these refrigerator freezer thermometers. Now it has certain colors on the thermometer and so you want the refrigeration to be right in this pink area. Now for freezing, you'll put it in the freezing and for really deep freezing, you'll put it below zero. Now these are very affordable and they're easy to buy. I'll put a link in the description for where you can get one, but I just recommend that you have this in your fridge so that you know what the temperature is inside. Sometimes the display is a little off 
And so it's good to be able to adjust the display so it matches what temperature you want. For example, if you have the fridge set at 35 and maybe it's about 40 degrees inside, you can just put it down to 30 and it'll match the refrigeration needs that you need inside the fridge. Okay, well that basically sums up most of the stuff that I wanted to cover about this set power fridge. Um, just thought I'd include uh, what comes in the box here at the end of the video. Uh, what's awesome for being a budget fridge, it actually comes with an AC a DC adapter. Uh, a lot of budget fridges don't come with that, so uh, thumbs up to Set Power for including that. Comes with an owner's manual that has, actually has a ton of information, um, even about the air codes, things like that. So, uh, really good owner's manual. And also, it comes with the uh, long 12 volt socket cable to power the fridge. Now, overall, uh, for the price, I was actually kind of uh, really impressed with the build quality. Now, one of the downsides is it does not come with a name brand compressor. Um, like for an ISCO fridge, you'd see something with the C-COP compressor in it. But an ISCO fridge is going to be around $500 uh, $550 or higher, and this definitely comes under that. Um, I do know that some of these off-brand compressors have worked really well. The other fridges that I've tested, I've really gotten good results. They're the same efficiency as other uh, as C cop compressors, but uh, just the long term, maybe it just depends how much you're going to use it. If you're going to be using this fridge 24 7 for years and years and years, maybe you'd want to question uh, getting a better uh, compressor. But if it's something they just use on a camping trip, maybe once or twice a year, three times a year, you know, I don't think you're going to have problems with having a off brand compressor. You know, overall, I've been very happy with uh, the features that include that are included with this fridge. I can't say anything else really negative about it. It performed just like uh, my other expensive fridges do. Uh, I just don't know about the longevity. So I just would invite you guys to check it out, see if you guys are interested in this dual uh, fridge freezer combo. Um, pretty awesome form factor the way that they built this in with that divider. You know, a lot of fridges out there don't actually have dual functionality. You can control each zone separately. So I was very impressed with that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, that's my thoughts on the Set Power RV45 dual compressor fridge. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below, um, and uh, I'll try to get back to you. You know, appreciate you guys watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share the content out, and uh, well, we'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Thank you.